Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress 5.6 on Ubuntu 20.04. So let's get started. So this instruction is good for Ubuntu 18.04 and 16.04. Okay, as long as you have LTS release or pre the upcoming releases as well. Now, so on the system, I already have Apache 2.4 installed, which is a web server, very popular uh, one. And then I also have here MySQL installed. So MySQL is already installed. And as long as you have My MySQL, MariaDB or Percoma, you should be good to go. All right. And then I've got this PHP installed. So make sure you've got PHP 7.4 at least. Uh, however, uh, PHP 8 is also compatible with this WordPress 5.6. That's basically one of the feature of WordPress 5.6. Okay, so it's compatible, uh, PHP 8 compatible. Now, so these are three re basic requirements, basically prerequisite to install WordPress on any system. So if you haven't installed them, go ahead and install them. You can find video on my channel. I've got videos and hopefully I'll leave the link in the description so you can easily install uh, basically Apache, MySQL and PHP on your Ubuntu system. So now let's go ahead and have a look uh, at the WordPress site. So go to wordpress.org click on get wordpress and you can see this is 5.6 however uh, the process is going to be the same for any release of wordpress if you wish to download and install so this is basically a requirement that we already have you can see apache uh, php and mysql so you can see this is recommended so you should have at least 7.4 now, if you're looking for any specific release, go to wordpress.org slash download slash releases and you can see you can find any release here. So before we go ahead and download and install, let me go ahead and show you what tool I'm going to use to download it. So I'm going to use wget. If you haven't installed wget, you simply go ahead and install by typing sudo apt install wget. And hit enter you can also give it y like uh, flag so this will install for you now the other thing that we're going to use unzip to unzip the zip file uh, then you need to install it if you haven't so go ahead and type sudo app install unzip. okay you can give it y flag all right so I suppose that you already have install wget and unzip as well as you can see uh, i've got apache so i'm going to download and install wordpress in this directory which is under var www and html so go ahead and change the directory so go to var www html now here I'm going to use wget and then I can simply go ahead and copy the link. However, the link is very easy. So you can see it's wordpress.org slash latest.zip. Simply go ahead and paste it over here or you can type it manually and then hit enter. And this should download it. And once it's downloaded, we will go ahead and unzip it and then change the folder name, move here and there, and that's all we need to do. So just allow me for, oh, it's very slow. So once it's downloaded, I'll be right back. Okay, so thank you for your patience. You can see the latest WordPress has been downloaded now we'll go ahead and have a look so you can see this is the latest wordpress that we have so what i'm going to do 
I'm going to unzip it using unzip. So unzip and then you simply say latest dot zip and this is going to be unzip. So now what we have, we have WordPress if you can see that we're just out of this latest thing. So first we need to just remove the latest dot zip so that's been removed you can see it and now i'm going to move the wordpress so basically when i say move so basically i'm going to rename it so let's say i want to say i'm going to simply rename it by wp and hit enter so that will be moved to wp folder now we have wp and wordpress is gone so this is the folder that i'm talking about now we need to give some permission but let's see if it's going to be available on our localhost so simply have to type the localhost name sorry local and slash the folder name that you moved or renamed wordpress to and hit enter and so it's asking for a database name username database password database host let's go and create the database first so i think here we have MySQL. So let's go ahead and create data base. So I'm simply going to say WP. And now, if you go ahead and show databases, make sure it's already created. Though it says created, now you can see a got WP. So I know the username and the password for my MySQL. So it's a root, password is password, localhost, and go ahead and click submit so there's something uh, we need to do before we run the installation so we basically give uh, permission to this server to make changes on our system so mysql settings secret key abs path so what i'm going to do now i can exit of this mysql thing and here uh, you simply type cd and hit enter you will be on the home directory and what we need to do now so we need to give permission to these folders this folder what wp folder so let me get it for you mm. WordPress and Drupal file Apache. So there are two things we need to do this one first username uh, Okay, and then this one so let's go ahead and do this first So this is what you need to do and this is basically the username, okay not root uh, just in my case it's going to be aks and then the folder name so in our case it's wp and that's the first thing we need to do and go ahead and hit enter type in the password and done the other thing is this one sudo and the folder name so here you simply type folder name and you are done okay so these are two things that we need to do to give it permission to run the installation okay you can see that did for us and go ahead and select your language click continue and we I think I already have the database root password and hit enter now it's going to run the installation it says all right sparky you made it through this part of the installation wordpress can now communicate with your database if you're ready time now to run the installation so go ahead and hit run the installation and we are done go ahead and type the name of your wordpress site so whatever it is confirm i am admin.com display search engine hit install wordpress so this is the wordpress installations steps on 
Ubuntu 20.04 and this sec this part is a bit slower than the previous ones. So here you need to grab a cup of coffee or tea whatever you like. Alright guys, so I'll be right back. Okay, finally it's done. You can see it here. Simply go ahead and hit log in. Type in your password and you, we are in this WordPress admin area which is WordPress 5.6 also shipped with this WordPress 2021 theme which we get. We definitely don't need this one so I'm going to delete it. 2019 I also don't need this one so that's been deleted. So this is basically 2021 theme that you get with 5.6 which was released just a week before. I guess and now uh, you can go ahead and have a look at your front end. So this is the WordPress 5.6 with 2021 theme. Guys if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below. You definitely want to clean your plugins. You don't need these plugins here. If you are in the development section like if it's not on your uh, production server so here we are this is wordpress 5.6 on ubuntu 20.04 with 2021 theme so that's it for guys if you have any questions suggestion again leave in the comment below bye for now take care